Hello everybody and welcome to Texas Motor Speedway for the Duck Commander 500 here at Texas. Last race at Martinsville, Brad Kozlowski went two in a row and he is closing on a points leader, Kurt Busch. 84 laps up for today's race, hopefully we have a long green flag run to have some strategy and hopefully we'll have some good racing. Let's get down to the starting grid for our starting lineup. Kurt Busch is your pole winner, Deal Jr. in second, Carl Edwards third, Brad Kozlowski fourth. You got Tony Stewart in fifth, Jeff Gordon in sixth in that nice paint scheme, Casey Kane in seventh, Logano in eighth, Harvick in ninth, and David Murray rounding out your top ten. Let's get ready for the starting command. Drivers, start your engines! Hopefully you have a good race. I know we won't though, because it's Texas. We have a sellout crowd here for today's race. That's the first time in a while Texas has had one of those. The groove is going to really widen out as the race continues as we saw in practice. We're going to start having to run that second groove a lot. Although that is risky because drivers have complained about getting extremely loose. Would you rather be loose in the second lane or plowing tight in the bottom? Personally, I would rather be loose in the second lane. However, you could be so loose as tight. That's it. As I've seen the drivers plowing up the hill, and they're trying to save the car. So, in terms of saving tires, you want to be on the bottom. Because you're going fast, you want to be in the second lane. Here we are, coming to the green flag as the pace car is getting ready to go down the road. 84 laps up for today's race. And here we are coming to the green flag. Kurt Busch has a massive jump on everyone. And Kurt Busch will lead the first lap of today's race. Let's go back here because I have something to talk about. Greg Biffle is back. However, it is up for debate if he'll be back for Darlington next week. He only raced today's race, so that way he won't lose too many points. And it was because he wasn't feeling too bad. Hopefully after this race, he'll be feeling better. And that way he'll be 100% at Darlington. And right now, he is not 100% as a three wide up there. Kurt Busch still leading, Casey Kane second, and last week's winner, Brad Kozlowski in third. Four wide, can only end well for only one person, and there's a caution. Trouble in turn three, oh! Hard impact for Stenhouse and Greg Biffle. Not many cars involved in that one. Surprised Johnson wasn't involved. Oh my god, they just spun it in turn one. And it was Castle and F. Burton. Oh. oh no, Matt Kenseth is out. Let's look and see at that. Whose fault was the L? It was. I mean. Okay, it was Kenseth. Actually, wait, no, let's see. Warrior came, oh, wait, the carpet came down. And he got hooked right there. That was a vicious impact. That was a hard, vicious crash. Let's get a good view of this one. Well, 
we can try to go on board of Jimmy Johnson here. Let's see his point of view of the action no, Kyle. Let's look at it there. Right there. Oh, that must have been terrifying. Other than Stenhouse and a couple other guys. Let's go on board with Stenhouse in the cockpit. Oh. I would have checked up more. Oh. His day is over. The top two in points right now, one, two. Is that that order? Kyle Larson is second in points right now. Let's look back and see who made it through. Junior, Gordon, I'm surprised Kyle and Johnson made it through. Actually, wait a minute. Johnson has some major right rear quarter panel damage again. Let's accelerate and see to the... And we're back at Texas. Larson got a really good jump there. You want to get as good of a jump as you can, and he's right now second. A lot of guys still up to speed other than Brian Scott, but that's usual. Kyle Larson to the inside, blocking Newman. And Larson will take the lead. Newman looking down to the inside, though. Larson will lead the lap. Newman looking low. He's going to set it in there. Larson beats him to the gas on the outside, but will it be enough to clear him? 75 to go this time by. He is clear of him. Pagano down low, trying to get down there. And he is there. Oh! Tony Stewart got on the wall right there. Martin Strix Jr. has had a really miserable season so far. And he, that luck changed around today. He's going to take the lead now. Larson. That was close. Shurex here either. Sophia Palmenard running in 18th right now. Has had a, an okay start to the season. For his standards, it's pretty good. Junior right now in 10th. His teammate trying to follow him, but with that damage, Oh no! That was close. Shrek still is running away with this thing. Not really running away because we're going on the line. Notice what I was talking about with how, what lane they're going to be running. They're right now running that third lane in 3 and 1 and 2 right now. Logano is there to the inside. He's looking to the inside now. Holy lower. Shrex has the stability on the, on the outside. Logano chasing loose.
four mile an hour deficit right now. But he's still there. Nagano, your leader now. I'm getting ready to run away with it now. Well, that's direction. Find something to get it back around him, and is he still there? Side drafting there. He got uh, really loose right there. Newman now looking to his inside. And Shrek's trying to chase him back down. Or is this Logano race to win now? We're at that point in the run where the tires starting to lose more grip. Shrek has a really slow lap time there, unless he can chase him back down. Starting to reel him in again. No doubt that draft is helping him out as he's looking to the inside now. He is there. Not enough to leave the lap. 200 in the corners. Not for him, but for some of these other guys in the draft. And he is clear. Legano pulling the crossover, though. All right. Interesting. I've never seen any I do that before in quite a while. Not going to leave the lap now. Unless Drex hit no, he can't get over on that turn three before because it's turn three and four. Casey Kane is still there. Maybe the house when needs to make a mistake as Drex makes one right now. Look at Drex pulls the crossover back on Logano. He's looking to do that. Not enough momentum. these all of these guys battling really hard right now because they know when someone takes the lead and runs away with it here it's over Jeff Gordon the last time he went here did just that that's why these guys are running so aggressive right now Logano is that enough to get around him it's enough to get to the back bumper of him AJ running really well right now as Logano goes to the lead. We're looking for the lead, my bad. But Trix clears him, but Logano's still looking to the inside. Larson in third, Kirk Bush looking on him. Junior, I think, hit the wall right there. I think he is now losing 10th. Look back here. Yep, he's down to 11th right now. Johnson with all that damage getting ready to be taken three wide now. Uh, okay, I was about to say, I thought Jimmy took three up top. Shurek's now starting to slowly pull away from Logano. Looking lower, you can send it a little deeper, getting clean air, but you will have a horrible exit. Logano's not going to have that, though. He got check up, though, to get down there, and he's there. A little bit of side draft, and he's down to the inside of Shurex, now taking the lead into turn one. Oh, no. Well, there goes this great battle for the lead. Logano now clear of Truex. Never mind, Truex is still hanging there. As the tires wear, will the outside get better or worse? We'll see that. Normally think it'd be getting better, but here it's a little weird. Rex has a noticeable run right there, looking to the inside again. Many, many crossovers right now. As Brian Scott's still ahead of him, but he'll be behind him shortly.
Logano to run the outside trying to get the same run Truex did, but he got really loose right there. Oh, he got a really good run right there. He's looking at the inside already. Oh, well, Trex trying to shut the door on him. These two are putting on a show for us here. Hopefully we get the same thing like this in the night race, which is up next. Next time we go here. Kurt Busch finally clears Larson, but Larson getting ready to charge again. Here comes Newman to the inside as Larson looks to the lead. Lap car to play a factor. What lane will he run? He will run Truex's. Truex will get around him easily. Hopefully Lugano will too, and he will. Kurt's gonna get held up. Yep, they're gonna get held up big time. Kurt to lose more spots now. That is an F. Second place in points. Kyle Larson got around Kurt. I don't think it's that close to worry about that. Talk about Junior here. Is he starting to get really loose now in 12th? AJ is someone we have not talked about in a while in this championship mode. The last time we talked about him was Chicago and when he won. But he hasn't done much. But hopefully this season that'll change. Look through the field here. Bobby Labani in 12. Impressive run. That old Casey Mears running in 23rd. Beating Stuart Haas drivers. In Trevor Bain. I don't know why I was missing this battle for lead as Logano trying to look on the leader of Truex. Newman in third. These two cannot get away with each other, probably because the cars are so even. But in that portion of the run, who will be leading when the car starts to fade? Will it be Logano's car that fades or Truex's? Look at how they're running it. Probably Truex. Logano starting to really chase it up the racetrack, probably dealing a massive tight issue. In fact, I think the bottom lane is starting to become unreliable. One or three or four, see what happens to Kurt. Eh, just not able to run it as here comes Logano to the inside. Will it be enough? He really sent it in there, but he's gonna lose all of it. Eggs in turn two. And he clears him, but Logano looking to the inside again. He had to check up his Massive run off of him. Come on, the got the draft in the straightaway. I've never seen the guy race someone so clearly before. Probably gonna bite me in the dust, but showing Trek some real class right now. Racing him hard is whatever he wants, but. I think maybe because these two rarely ever get in controversy. Of course, that lights well in four years, but we're in 2014 right now. Well, uh, okay, I thought Brian Scott was running well. Kyle Larson in third right now obviously has nothing for the leaders as they are still running 28s. They're single file throughout the field back here. That's, never mind, Kurt's gonna change that right now as he, as he gets to the inside of Newman. Pagano's starting to lose Trex. He's really starting to lose him. In fact, he lost him by a tenth that lap. Ooh, get around Bowman. Rolling quicker and easier. Stretch asking him to go high, but Roman can go high. Not getting Stretch the lane he wants, though. That's going to help out Logano. Never mind, Logano is going to have to ease off the throttle and exit. Not losing more time to him. 
Kerr push ball in the crossover and Newman. Guys are really starting to fall off. Will they have to pit though? That's the question. Fly by here. Junior down to 11th now. And he get around Amarola for 10th as he looks for the bumper to get him loose, but he is tight. Battling back here. Look at this. Oh, wait a minute. This Brian's got the left card. Really starting to really spread out right now. Major. Look at the time they're pulling on everyone else. These two. Maybe Logano saving fuel as I think Trevor Bain just hit the wall right there. Oh, Bowman! Hard impact with the wall! That's gonna be really bad for these guys. Look at the run Newman has on Kurt! Impressive! Okay, let's see, look at these two here. Are they really that tight? Ooh! Larson. That's, that's a little worrying if they're really falling off that hard. Kerr's gonna have another run on Newman. Chase his draft here. Looking low. Trying to pin it on the yellow white line. Is he there? Yes, he is. And he'll get held up in the lap car. Tracks is still easing out of that throttle, trying to save something. The fact they are so much faster than everyone else just blows my mind. These two were battling so hard, and Kurtz. Shrek's starting to slowly drive away here as Bane starting to get close to that wall. Shrek's better be watching out. They're actually starting to run lower now. I'm compare them to the guys like Larson or Kurt. Putting that car all the way up into the rubble line. Oh, oh my god! Trevor Bain has spun in front of Truex! The caution is out as he slams into the wall! Oh my god, no, 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 no! Pace car is out. Who will race it back to the lead? It'll be Truex. Caution's out. Thank god nobody got involved in that. Told him to take notes. Looks like he didn't. He's got there with Trevor Main. I think he has suffered some heavy right rear end damage. Let's see what happened here. Shrex was really reeling him in here. Oh, Bane lifted. Oh, that's a split second decision, and Shrex didn't do that. That must be heavy damage to Truex's engine. Let's see if he, everybody has to pit now. Will Truex have to serve his damage or what? We'll find out. We'll win the race off. We'll look at this game. Junior gets into his box. There's some people with. <gasps> oh my god. Logano gets off pit road first. Larson second. Shurex down to fourth. John Jr. with that really slow lap. Pit stop. Edwards. Oh my god. Oh, 
Now these guys pitting. Gano leading now. Where's Bane? Bane is still serving that damage. Probably not going to return soon. Lap cars on the inside of Logano, Larson, Newman, and Truex. It's going to be easy for Logano to drive away, but Larson hold him, get up there. Fastest lap is Truex uh, and Logano, so probably no. Who the hell is that? Um, wait, Bobby Labonte, he's going to lap down. What is he doing? Did he get out of line or did he serve a penalty? I don't know. This guy's going to get up with the back bumpers. Trying to get a, as best of a jump as you can. And we're back. Logano with a great jump. And Bobby Labonte can the road. And they're all checking up behind the lappers. Logano, Larson, oh! Newman does not take him three wide. Logano gonna drive away now because the lap car is I don't think Shrex will get there in time. Because he's the only one that can even serve a chance to fight him. And he's on the outside, and that outside is not good before at this point. Or really one and two. Can Newman be the next challenger? We'll find out now if he can run him down. As Shrex takes it three wide. Track position is key here. Newman is already on his back bumper. Will it be enough as he gets into him? Three wide for the lead. Newman to block. Kurt Busch. Kurt Busch going to muscle him out of the way. Kozlowski to the inside of... Truex is now Newman to the lead here at Texas. Kurt Busch now to the inside. Can Kozlowski go for three in a row? Doesn't look like it as Kyle Busch looks to the inside. Everybody's starting to get back up there. Kurt trying to get that lap led. Will it be enough though? There's Tie it off of turn two. Four, I mean, and... Oh, I think Newman got it. Yep, he got it. Wow, that run was there. Oh, my goodness! They are still racing it back. They are three wide for lead. We'll look and see what happened there. Will they make it back, though? That's the question. Truex... Gained a lot from that. Can he go for the lead? No, he won't. Kyle Busch will lead them to the caution. Oh, dear heavens. What has happened? Three wide eggs in turn two. Michael Lynette seal him one. Oh, yes, he did. Wait, no. No, no, no. Was it these two? No! <gasps> oh no! It was Josh Wise smacking the wall and. Oh, he. Oh! Oh my god! Well, remember what I said about AJ? Hopefully, he had a good run. That is a shame. We'll look at it from AJ's point of view. Hmm. Actually, Casey. Oh! That must be terrifying to see as a driver. Let's see, did he get a good view on that with AJ? Oh, he was part of it. Oh, 
Bobby Labonte's good run is over, and a lot more DNFs in this race. Kyle Busch has been a fat winner since he's won a race. Let's see if he can do it today. Remember, like I said, track position is important here, and he is the leader, but when you have someone like Shurex in second, you got to watch out. Not many laps to go, 30 to 29 to go this time. So they will be a lot more aggressive. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that for? How are you in 10th? You shouldn't be in 10th. Watch, he's gonna win this race. Michael Lynette won Vegas. So, don't rule that out. We could get another caution, but who will it be? And who will win this race? That is up for debate. Oh my god, Shrex got a really good jump. Bush Brothers teaming up on Shrex now. Kyle Bush trying to get redemption after the last time he went here when he lost to Jeff Gordon. Kirk to help Truex right now. Will he have enough to get up to Truex? With Kyle Busch, I mean, we'll find out. But in the meantime, what the hell is going on? They're gonna be four wide. Oh no! Pominara down to the inside, spinning. Caution's out. Kyle Busch leading him back to the caution flag. Caution's out. Danny Hamlin out of nowhere. We had a really good view of that. There were four wide there. For some reason, they don't like going four wide here. Ryan Scott checked up the whole field. Amarola trying to get anything he can. Menard, oh, Ryan Scott obviously up there. And hard into the wall goes Paul Menard. Whoa, whoa, no way. Did they get damage off of it? Going green, 24 laps. To, oh, please tell me you're out of the race. Please tell me you're out of the race. No! God damn it. Bane's back out there. That's what he's Probably be extremely slow. Yay! Right side's out. Fucking right side. Anyways, 23 to go this time. by, And the green flag is back out. Shrex did not get that good of a jump this time. Oh, How did. Jock that damage? Oh guys, he has massive rear end damage. I think he had that before though. We're gonna have another caution. Oh my goodness. Shrex rocketing around Reed Sorensen. Will it be enough as Hamlin smacks the wall? They're spinning behind them. Carl Edwards spins. And that is a massive wreck. Tony Soul! A lot more violent this season, I see. They're under caution. Again. Oh! Come on! God, Marcus Ambrose. No, oh, they were four wide again. Oh, yep, it was hard. Smack the wall. Ooh! If you just see him smack him, he's dead. It's going board. He's dead. He's gone. He is out. Kyle Bush probably won this race under caution. 67? Ooh, thank God I didn't go another lap. I thought they're going green like 67. Oh, Jeff Gordon 
benefiting a lot from this, along with Junior and Jimmy Johnson and Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson was really fast. I'm surprised he did not gain anything from that. Not many cars left. Back in the middle now, only six cars left. The flag is out again. Just clear these four. They're stacking up the field every time. Why are they going down on this side, though? Brian Scott blocking Denny Hamlin, not going to have any of that. Casey Kane, I hope he just texted behind me, even though that would be really bad. Kyle Larson trying to take it three wide up top. Shurek still getting held up. This is really affecting him right now. Probably not happy with him. Kurt down low. Newman getting ready to go down low too. Gordon to follow. They are getting big wide behind them. Can Shurex reel in Kyle? Oh, he is doing just that. Will there be enough time for another caution though? They have a three-way battle here. Already a tenth faster than him. But, will it, but ca catching him is one thing, passing him is a whole other thing. Right there. Getting really big and wide back there. Kyle Larson lost a lot of spots back there. Running in the draft, I thought you could tie the No, Shrek's actually is gaining in three and four. Another tenth. Almost a tenth. It's really one and two. Kyle is going a lot wider. And he is on the back bumper of him. Making the move now. Sure has been the dominant car of the race. 14 to go this time by. Will Kyle Bush lose another one? Probably. Let's see what big, how big of a run he'll get in turn two. Kyle Shrex does not go that wide. Oh, but Kyle can't do the crossover. Yes, he will. Kyle does the crossover on him. Shrex. Kurt is loving every second of this. These two battling it out still. Gaining more and more on them. Your points leader trying to Go two in a row here at Texas as Shurex just runs into the back of Kyle. Has a massive run on him too. Coming to 12 to go this time by. Oh, oh no! That was close. But Gordon just lost a lot of spots there. Junior up the eighth. No, 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 please go. No. Thank God. Kurt looking to the inside of Truex. They're getting big wide behind them. I think this is gonna really hurt Truex now. He does not need Kurt battling him because Truex has the fastest car out of all of them. Massive run off of two. He's gonna clear. No, he's not. He's not gonna have enough time to. Kurt lifted there. Not gonna let him have him. Ten to go for Kyle Busch. Justin Allgaier up to eighth. Unbelievable. Casey Kane is the fastest car on the racetrack right now. Really, really reeling him in along with Brad Kozlowski. <gasps> no, 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 no. Well, one of these three is gonna get boned. Eight to go. Tricks to the inside. Kurt Busch to try and help out his brother. Never mind, he goes out to help Truex, hopefully to make it three wide for the lead. 
right on his back bumper now. And he's looking. Seven, six to go, I believe. No, seven. Oh, get around him, get around him, get around him, get around him. Oh! Kyle Bush. Oh, no, there goes his race. I think it's over now. I don't think Kurt has that much speed left in him. Yep, he's losing them now. Caution with like two laps to let him race now. I think I just saw Algar smack the fence back there. Yep. Yeah, it's over. Kurt is losing so much in center. He will not go two in a row this race at Texas as they're blocking behind him. Wait a minute, can Kyle Busch have any? Nope. Unless, unless he has enough time. Coming to five to go to sign by. Nope, 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 nope. He lost so much. Let's him have him. So it might have a better chance if these two really start catching each other, but Kyle is losing time in three and four now. Now forcing his brother up the racetrack. Oh, what sucks is that Kyle actually was catching him. Well, he wasn't, but... Kyle just has to work on his three and four, and he has them. Literally, just like last season, we kind of trying to run the four to go. I don't think he'll have enough time. Shrex goes really wide, but so does Kyle. But he's right in his tire tracks. He's really going to need Kurt to help him out with the push. Does he have enough time to get up to him? I don't think so. Nope, nope there's no way. Three to go this time by. He's losing him. He's staying literally dead even with him. But you're running time as he Trix goes wide. Kyle's there. Kurt does not have enough time to get up to him. Hopefully that wasn't a fluke. Kyle looking a little higher there. Two to go this time by. Will he have enough? He is down to the inside now. Looking down low. Will he have enough time? I don't think it'll be enough. He's not gaining as much as we need he needs. White flag this time by for Truex. It's gonna come down to the wire here. Kyle inching and inching every time. Not gonna be enough. Three and four for the final time for Martin Truex Jr. Last season he won the most exciting races again. This time he will do it again. Martin Truex Jr. wins at Texas. What a race. Wow. Man, that was a great freaking finish. That is his third career win with Furniture Row Racing. Those, that top three, who would have thought? Oh, some beef going on back there. Man, those lappers really hurt some of these guys' chances. Kurt Busch probably had he is pulling Kyle Larson right now. What a race, though. 
Unbelievable. I don't know how many lead changes that could have had. That was definitely the best race of the season right there. Race 7. Because I didn't save Martin's initial numbers. Wait a minute. Did I? No, I didn't. Next race is Darlington Race. Oh no. Duck Commander 500 saw 12 lead changes and 5 cautions. Trix led the most laps at 39. Kyle was 24. Kurt Busch led 7. Newman 2. Logano 10. If that wasn't a good race, in your opinion, I don't know what you want for a good race. One of the best. What the? This game is so stupid. Yep, we're missing 25th. 33rd. The hell? Come on. <sighs> Congratulations to Martin Trix Jr. We'll see you guys for the Bojangles Southern 500. Have a good one.